Hello there. Hi, man. Pardon me for asking, but what is this you have here? Well, at first it might seem like a simple skull. We, we found it in the water, not far from the coast. We, we don't normally mine these sorts of objects, but I guess we did pick this one up for some reason. They say it's cursed, and we do not have any archaeologists to dig after any clues to prove if it's true, but would you like to help? Hey, Dimitri. I'll be right back. Yes? I was thinking about maybe going on a cursed treasure hunt. What do you say? Well, it will not be easy as Russia is a pretty big country and on top of that there are many hidden dangers within, but I think you could do it. Let's do this. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Addy and welcome back to a new lore video. Now as expected this video will be regarding the new Halloween update easter egg mark 2. After a couple hour long treasure hunt, me and a bunch of other unturned players were the first to crack the code and reveal the truth about the achievement. I could say it was probably 10 times harder than the soul crystal easter egg so without further ado here is how you do it. First, you need to make sure that you have completed the on-air and research recovery quests from Commander Lawrence and Dr. Swanson on the Liberator in Russia. For the on-air quest, once you've talked to Lawrence, head over to the repair room and ask Natalie to give you a repair kit. Upon obtaining it, what you'll want to do next is go fix the three radio towers on Russia, report back to Lawrence and you're set. As for Swanson's quest, she'll ask you to collect four research capsules dropped by a crashed Scorpion 7 plane in the far north of the map, which is a dead zone, so bring a couple gas masks with you. For your convenience, I have made a map where the blue dots represent the radio tower locations and the red ones the research capsule ones. Once you've collected them all, report back to the doctor. After that, talk to her again and she will give you a Scorpion 7 keycard. Now this is where the easter egg really begins. With the keycard now in your possession, you must once again go through the soul crystal easter egg process which I have made a video about in the past, get to the secret laboratory, but this time you must use the keycard to get through a specific door which, inside, has this drawn on a wall. It may not make a lot of sense now, but keep it in mind for later. Now before we move on, take a look at where the X is placed on the drawing. You might have noticed already, but this is actually Russia, and that X is actually a shipwreck south of Vladimir Farm, where you will find the first clue, a treasure chest. Pick it up, and you now have to get back to the Liberator and grab the cursed skull which can be found on a waging in the research corner. From now on, what you have to do is find the five bones hidden within the map, at the following locations. On a stone at a tribal place between Kharyiv and St. Petersburg, in some debris at the subway entrance of Moscow, in a canoe at Camp Kazan, a well at Nordic Farm, and finally in one of the tanks at Savod. Once you've found them all, you must return to the Soul Crystal Altar, place the chest and the bones and collect souls until you get teleported to a dark room where you'll have to fight a giant pirate boss. But be careful though, this guy has the powers of a mega electric stomping fire spitting and acid spitting zombie, so uh, if you're doing this in vanilla you might want to grab a few supplies first. Anyways, once you have defeated him you'll get teleported back but with three smaller soul crystal fragments which you'll have to pick up and place in three specific spots. Under the arch in Moscow, at the graveyard in Yekaterinburg, and at Kerry of Quarry as indicated by the hidden map. Collect souls from the zombies near each one, you can use a horde beacon if you want, and once you've made all three of them disappear, go to the three towers pointed at by the arrows on the chart and charge each one of them. You will know when you've charged one as a colored ray of light will shoot out from the top of the antenna in a certain direction. Once all three are activated, a vertical ray of white light will rise at the intersecting point of the lasers near Moscow. Arrive there, claim your reward, and you will get a mythical Mark II 
Shadow Stalker and will have now finally completed the achievement. As for the story, well, it's a bit complicated, but let me explain. The Mark II is a continuation of the Soul Crystal. The three smaller gems are actually the remaining buried fragments that Kilroy talks about in his journal. This means that the power of the Soul Crystal was probably also split into multiple parts, three of which could power the MK2 Shadow Stalker, as hinted by the way they combined to create it. It would also mean that the space pirates mentioned in the resources report note were not going to steal our oceans, forests or gold, no, not those kind of resources, but rather our ancient relics to use them in ways beyond our imagination. When it comes to the pirate boss, it's safe to assume it was created by Scorpion 7, not only as hinted by the Scorpion 7 logo in the battle room, but also by the red dust that comes out once you kill it, knowing that the institute was in possession of one of the red crystals at that time when creating the super-powered zombies. And on top of that, it's also possible that the pirate zombie was the cause for the chaos in the hidden laboratory, as potentially proven by the two notes inside of it. Oh. And by the way, the pirate team, yeah, it could either mean that the curse had something to do with the tribal legends and Anastasia and all that, or maybe it had to do with aliens, or maybe just for the sake of being Halloween themed, but we'll have to see. But anyways, with solved mysteries, more questions to be asked, and even more things to be discovered, this is the story of Mark II. Well, I think this is the last one. You know what to do, Kilroy. I understand. I'm going towards it right now. Oh my god, I was the first one to find the achievement! I'm gonna tell all my friends now! I'm so awesome! See ya, suckers! <laughs> Kilroy, congratulations, buddy! You're the first man to get it! You're the one who got it, right? I see the lights went, went off. You, you got it, right? Kilroy? K Kilroy, can, can so you hear fun. me? Buddy!